Okay, guys, I just dropped a video on nine things I love about my Fit T-Rex 2. And now this video is going to be on the other end of the scale. It's going to be six things I hate about my Fit T-Rex 2. Um, let's start with the elephant in the room. Let's start with the biggest mess here is that even though Amazfit says on all their marketing stuff that this watch has real-time navigation and a backtrack feature, it does not, at least not right now. Um, this is supposed to be coming via an over-the-air update July 25th. We'll see what happens. Um, I, you know, I've been told that the backtrack feature did work so and that I was wrong. So I went in and the only way I can get the backtrack feature to work is very, very clunky. It only works while a workout is still active and it only works in a straight line, which obviously makes no sense for everybody unless you are, um, you know, swimming in a lake or you're exercising in a field because you can't really take a straight line. Yes, I know it can kind of help navigate you if you're lost because you can see the direction you need to go. That's not the backtrack feature that I need. So that is, I think, 100% was a marketing gimmick. Maybe when they release this update on July 25th, it will improve the backtrack. And you're supposed to be able to do route import and real-time navigation. I expected there kind of must be a catch for a watch that claimed it could do the same stuff, you know, a six or eight hundred dollar watch could do for two hundred and twenty bucks. So it's you know it's mostly on me, but uh, we'll see what happens on July twenty fifth. I'll keep you guys posted. But that's the number one thing that disappointed me about the Amazfit T Rex two is that the whole GPS navigation is kind of yeah. Um, next number two, what I don't like about this watch, the logos. Like I understand they had to. Somebody said they had to add this gold piece right here to maybe is this the Brent the barometer. Um, they said that they used to be on the bottom of the watch, but because it's on the side now, they had to add this to protect it, which is fine. But putting this red Amazfit logo in here, it just looks cheap now. It just looks... Um, the the T-Rex Pro 2 looked so much better. It didn't have this, and it didn't have this. And what annoys me about this is, you know, it's the watch sits on my arm like this, and the first thing I always see is T-Rex. I glance down, that's all I see. You know, it's white against this wild green color, they call it. And I don't know, like, I want to see the watch and all its beauty and design, but I don't, I just don't want to see that logo every time I look down. Um, it just annoys me. Um, number three, um, if, now, now I put this in my nine things I love about the Amazfit, which is that the screen works, it, it, the commands work fine underwater. Um, but what I didn't, what I mentioned is that the commands work fine, but if you're not doing a command, the screen goes completely whack underwater. It will do, or with in the shower when water gets on it. So you have to remember to come down here, scroll over, and lock your screen. And when you lock your screen, obviously it won't do anything until you press and hold a button long enough to unlock it. And that's fine. I just, I would, I've had watches before that we're not bothered by water on them whatsoever. So I, I, it's just another step that I wish I didn't have to take. Um, number four, the GPS isn't as accurate as other GPS devices I've used. And that was another update with the T-Rex 2. Um, it's a dual band GPS now, I guess. Um, a, a better GPS lock than the T-Rex Pro. Um, it still seems to be not quite as accurate as uh, other devices I've used in the past. Now, for workouts and stuff, it's plenty good enough for me. Um, plenty good enough. But, you know, if I was adventure racing or making GPS maps or, you know, stuff like that where I really cared about the accuracy of the GPS route, this would probably not be the watch for me. Uh, the next one's going to be the limited watch faces. Uh, I made a video about the watch faces that came with the watch, how there's only a few, and they didn't share the one I liked with the T-Rex Pro. And you guys let me know there are way more, there are more watches on the Zep app. Yes, there are more watch faces on the Zep app. Still not a crazy amount. I mean, don't expect as many watch faces as you're going to get on, you know, available on a Samsung or an Apple watch. But there's, 
I don't know, probably 40 or 50 watch faces on there. There's probably six or eight that I liked. I've kind of settled on this one um, for now, but we're probably going to change it up soon too. And then last but not least, the thing I hate about this watch is as far as I can tell and as far as I've heard other people say, the bands are proprietary bands. So uh, it looks like they're held on by little bolts or something. I can't tell. But you can't just toss a watch band on here from just any watch, which really limits your watch band, um, which is the reason I got the green. I, I told you guys I didn't want a black watch at all. So sick of black devices. Everything's black. Then I can't see it when it's in my backpack or anything like that. Well, if I could have swapped bands for this, I would have got the black watch and then just got a different color band. But since I probably couldn't do that with this i had to just get the wild green watch if i could go back and have my choice i would get the debt i think it's desert khaki that one would look really cool but it wasn't available when i ordered this um and the t-rex pro 2 they have a uh something gray and i had it and i really loved that color i don't mind this color um and then one thing I want to mention kind of as a bonus here is that the watch band, I actually preferred the watch band on the T-Rex Pro 2. Uh, this T-Rex 2 watch band is supposed to be like non-slip and have some qualities to it, but it feels weird. Maybe that's because it's non-slip. Um, and also, these spots where the band connects to the face on the T-Rex Pro 2 pivots so that the watch will actually lay perfectly flat which i kind of like um and this watch will not obviously will not lay flat because these do not pivot um i also notice that sometimes when i tighten this up on my wrist it kind of it's harder to move it's harder to slide it back and forth you know to give your skin a break um and i think that's because it's got the you know the anti-slip um it's got like a coating on it, and then it's got these grippers in the band. It's like I said, it's not that bad, but it's just I kind of preferred the T-Rex Pro 2. So overall, guys, I'm still happy I went with this watch instead of the, you know, I almost pulled the trigger on like a Garmin Phoenix 7 Solar Sapphire, which is like the cheapest you can find, it's like seven or eight hundred bucks. Um, for what I need this for, this you know, two hundred dollar watch is just fine. Uh, for anything super advanced GPS wise, I'm probably going to use one of my old phones or something um, and not a watch anyway. So hope you guys got some value out of that. If you want to support the channel, I'll put the links to these watches down below. You can click into the link and get these watches or anything else off Amazon and we get a small kickback. So appreciate you guys very much and uh, I'll keep you updated on July 25th when the new update comes out. Thanks guys.